welcome to the wealth transfer. Global <laughs> economics, biblical principles, <laughs> and protecting and preserving your family. And I'll say when I say protecting and preserving, remember this is global or biblical principles. So for just starters, because of everything that's been going on, it seems with a lot of people we know. I think everyone out in the kingdom right now that just happens to catch this show, remember, by the shed blood of Jesus Christ, you have authority. We don't rebuke the enemy. He's already underneath our feet. We submit to God, resist the devil, and he's better scram. So for everyone that is listening that has a mountain in their way, remember, faith is a mustard seed. Because if you are persuaded and you believe, take action and tell them to get out of my way because I'm coming with a fire of heaven behind me and you don't want to mess with me because I'm a child of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare it this day. I'm Terry Saka. I'm just the chief strategist, but I'm along with Dr. Charles Vance, who's the pastor. So let's say oh it, Dr. Charles. My. We've been raised and seated together with Christ <laughs> in heavenly places. It's good to be with you today, yeah, Terry. You better believe I it. I can is. feel some fire coming off of you. Last week, man, you were just fervent, man. I'm, getting at well, it. you know what? No political correctness nope. here on this program. No, none. We're really talking about this program is about when we first sat down and started talking about this. You said, "Well, what should we name this program?" And we started going through. A bunch of things and we landed on wealth transfer because wealth is always moving it's moving from one place to the other from one hand to the other when you sell something wealth moves from one hand to the other when somebody loses something it doesn't leave the planet it just transfers ownership so this program is talking about you getting positioned so that wealth can be transferred to you too often we've listened to people that don't have any kind of spiritual interest in what God wants to take place on planet Earth. They're just advisors, if you will. And we need to start listening to the heart of God. We need to understand people like Joseph in the Old Testament mm, that, that was planning for seven years. He made plans to take care of a time that was going to be tough. Terry, sometimes it's hard to get people to plan for 10 minutes nowadays. We are Americans, and we the people are in normalcy bias. Intelligent Explain people. It. Explain it. It's when intelligent people, which I'm giving a compliment that we're intelligent people, sure. and they are in a denial that something is coming or going to happen because they've never seen it or been part of it. So they don't want to mm. see it. And we said so one time, you know, I happened to have thought the Matrix movie was pretty interesting, had a really unique parallel spiritually. And I really believe a lot of Americans want to be in the matrix. And what it really means is they would rather live in a lie because the truth is too hard to make changes to be successful. But Jesus said, pick up the cross and run the race. And he'll guide us to that narrow path that leads to life. And he'll guide us to those treasures and riches in, in the knowledge and understanding of the word. And so I think what really is coming on here in our nation is we must understand that this is real live and active, and it has been, by the way, for the Shemitah cycles, and what we're going to see, like, for instance, I want to read this right now, that just, this is pretty much off the press not too long ago, just a few weeks ago, but this is a federal government statement that says that uh, we are flirting with $30 trillion in debt. Now, this program, we're going to get more into some of these numbers about our finances, about the printing of money, what it really means in the truth of it, but listen to this. $30 trillion debt in just the next 10 years. Now, this is coming from Congressional Budget Office, what we call the CBO. Now, what they're saying is the CBO blamed steadily increasing spending on the elderly, which we do know that we do have a massive shift from generation to generation. Sure. We have the uh, um, 1970s uh, is when we really began in this. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the baby, baby boomer generation is... It, it has the a end of the baby boomers, wasn't it? Well, yes, but I'm yeah. saying they're now coming into retirement sure. times. Exactly. 10,000 baby boomers are retiring every single day, mm -hmm. coming off of taxes, going into these wow. unfunded liabilities. Every, every day. Every day. Now, what we're looking at is Medicare, Social Security, and other things that now, don't get me wrong, they earned them all right, sure especially the baby boomers. Yeah. But they're coming into these programs mm -hmm. that we don't have the money for. The and problem is the money has been pilfered. Yes. The, my dad, my dad's 93 years old. He said when they first started Social Security, there was so much money in the fund because nobody was drawing from <sighs> that it. That is exactly he right. He said Congress voted 
to get their hand in that Social Security fund and start using it, and they have depleted the fund now, yes. which is just absolutely wrong for people that have paid into that fund, yes. which would have an abundance of retirement yes. had it not been tampered with. Yes, because right now we're faced with not only people in pensions, but people in Social Security. Uh, pension people are actually said that they have to get them cut, right? Mm. So you're exactly right. Mm. The money was there. Now, every great nation has done that. And the Greeks and the Romans, what they did is they took the gold in, started putting copper in. Before you know it was just copper, and then they were destroyed as a nation. Right. We know this debt is unsustainable. It's unsustainable now at 19, almost 20 trillion. But the CBOs blame steadily increasing spending on the elderly. So it would be more of the baby boomer in the later part of World War II generation. Looming tax hikes, which we've been raising taxes, and people understand how devastating that is to economies. Um, they just want to tax people who make money, but they don't understand that there's a backlash to that. And particularly, now, mind you, this is the Congressional Budget Office. They're supposed to be on the government side, but they're telling you, particularly, the increasing bite of Obamacare for the poor economic outlook, saying they will chase workers out of the labor market and onto the public dole, dampening the prospects of economic growth between now and 2020. And if you see what I have planned over the next few weeks to month, showing you data leading to 2020, you're going to go, wow, because there is a currency reset coming that we believe is landing by then. This whole global shift as you know it is taking place. The dollar is going to be marginalized, and the tack on its petro power is happening right this very second, as Iran is now loosened from the sanctions. And, and well, we're going to get into that one later, but wait till you hear the data on what they're doing to us. Boy, nothing like giving a treaty and then having someone kick you square in the kneecaps, right? So this is our Congressional Budget Office telling us why this is going to take place. So you can obviously see we're in trouble. There's what we call a financial apocalypse. So we really better wake up, kingdom people, because we must be preserved. They're coming after our Christianity, especially somebody like me in the category I am in, being an ex-military and so forth. We're deemed as almost enemy to the state, which is kind of almost laughable. But if you know that Luciferians are calling that shot, you know why. They're afraid of our Jesus Christ. They're afraid of our fire-breathing faith. Then they know they're underneath our feet spiritually. Because we're not here to overthrow a government. That's insane. There's not going to be an armed revolution either. That's insane. Technology is phenomenal. They're going to stop you. This is spiritual warfare right now. I mean, the body has to pray. Number one, stop fighting denominations. Get with the program. And at least agree by the shed blood of Jesus Christ, we have authority over the enemy. And let's start coming in alignment with that. And get in line with the information we're sharing with you. Because wait till you see the more of the data we're going to show you today that's directly impacting your ability to have a standard of living in the future, your retirement, your future transfer of wealth to your inheritance to children, children's children. And don't think the rapture's coming anytime soon. Of course, it could happen right It didn't, but it could. And if it did, we wouldn't care. But we don't know when. So get educated, and here's a good place to get started. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. So there, there's a, I'm going to interrupt. Yeah, there's you a, bring there's, on. A, there's a fervency that you have, yes. and, and I see passion. it. A passion. Yes, absolutely. Well, yes. and it's a fervency. It's a yes, fire it burning, That's okay? Right. That's right. A zeal, an excitement. I like the fire burning because the fire of heaven will take care of a lot of this. Well, certainly. Yeah. We've got to do something, though. Yes, we, we do. We can't just say it. I think about, we started with Joseph this evening. Uh, or today on the program, if Joseph had said, you know, we're going to have some problems, it's going to be seven years because everything's going to be really good for seven years, 
you really don't have to fool with anything right now. We'll yes. just let's just wait for a while. And you say that a lot. Well, you, when you say people can just go to dinner, go to the movies, they don't question anything. As long That's as there's bias, stuff there, there it is. It's yeah. it's that thing that we're fine as long as everything is fine, right. and then we're going to fix it when there's a problem. The only problem is you're if you're on your way across the country and you didn't fix your uh, you didn't fix your tires before you left the country or before you left one end of the country to go to the other, and you knew you had bad tires, and you just thought, well, we'll just fix them when we, when we have a problem with them. You're going to run into some really serious situations, and it's smart for us to plan. That's what this program Amen, is about. Yes. This is not a get-rich-quick program. I want people to understand that. A lot of people say, well, Terry, you know, owns a company that sells silver and gold and mints coins, and so... You know, it, it, we, he talks about gold and silver hitting up, you know, raising up and, and being something big. This is not a get-rich-quick thing. This is not a lottery program. You're going to win the lottery by buying silver and gold. This is a Joseph thing. Amen, brother. Where the Amen. things might be good now, and they should be good enough for you to do something to plan for your future. Because there's some just some ugly stuff around the corner. And if, listen... If nothing even happens in your lifetime, you need to plan for your children's children because the scripture said a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's mm -hmm. children. So let's get ready to do that. Let's make plans so that there's not just success in our lives, but our children and our children's children. We and, can do that. And you know, we have people say that. I, I'll, there's, I'm always anticipating some form of an antichrist emotion to come against what we say. Oh, he's got the business, then look at him and look at this. You know, here's the point. Though. You tell people buy anywhere they want to. I tell them buy it anywhere that, they want the to. That's exactly right. But here's the here's the issue. You better believe this is important. Why? It is important. Number one, it's biblical money. Silver has always been our money since day one in the Bible, and it clearly says dishonest weight and measures are an abomination. Absolutely. Honest scales are a delight. You know why silver is honest? Is one ounce is one ounce. Thirty-one point one grams. You can't fake it. You can't make it. This, they're printing into Bolivian, and we've done this before, but just remember, these used to be equal. You used to take this paper to the bank, and they would give you the silver, because not only is it biblical, this is constitutional U.S. dollar. Listen to what I just said. This is our constitutional U.S. dollar. Article 1, Section 8 says Congress has a right to coin money. Coin. The word coin. Coin, coin money. Coin. But, yes. <laughs> Not print paper. Not print paper. Good point. Never thought <laughs> All right, that one. I just wanted to bring it up. <laughs> but money was defined in the era of the Constitution as grains of silver. The actual word dollar comes from a region in Bohemia and Germany was a valuation of X amount of grains of silver. Oh, not mind you that it's related to Bohemia Grove in California, the secret society. It, it's not. Um, the secret society, the one that they worship the 40-foot owl of statue of Moloch, and they're all the powerful people in the world. It, it's, it's a Luciferian thing there. But they happen to have the same name. But the dollar is grains of silver. So what you're doing and what we're advocating, why I'm so fa passionate about this, this is our constitutional dollar. And if we've always would have been in our constitutional dollar, we would be significantly wealthier today because remember, as we did this, they were equal. We went to the GAT, we went to the bank, they exchanged. Remember, in the 60s, late, late 60s, they both bought you about five gallons of gas, let's say, right? Well, today, I go and sell my silver. Not only can I buy the same five gallons of gas I did 50 years ago, I can buy a staggering, and I'm talking staggering, eight gallons of gas. Now, I've been able to buy almost more than 50, 60 percent more gas than I did 50 years ago. That is a storage of wealth over time, right? That's a definition of money. Now, take the dollar out of your wallet. How much gas can you buy? You used to buy five gallons. Now you can get maybe a half a gallon, a little more. Eight gallons, a half a gallon. Constitutional money, fake fiat, deception, dishonest weight and measure. So I am passionate because we the people are the kingdom of Christ people as well. This is a Christian nation. Get over it, everybody else who doesn't agree with that. And it, it, Sir Francis Bacon came here with Sir Walter Raleigh. They were the occult, little esoteric, you know, Luciferians. And then God, with his great sense of humor, sends over the Mayflower with the Puritans. So we've been battling it ever since. 
Constitutional money is why it's a passionate thing because the fact is, in the last 10, 15 years, it's been the best performing asset class you could have ever been in. And I tell that to financial advisors and they try to make me see, seem like I'm stupid, even though I have actually more financial degrees than they do. They seem like I'm stupid. I said, you just actually don't know your history. Because the fact is, this is the best performing asset. Now, think about it. $100,000 in retirement in silver for the last 10 years is worth a whopping $400,000 today. And I don't think your IRA or 401k is. So yes, I have a passion for that because we are doing number one, kingdom money, two, constitutional money, and I believe what's coming in the financial apocalypse going forward, if we in the kingdom not only get our relationship right with Jesus Christ in that sense of it, and we get into our constitutional money, we may actually have a chance to save this country. Terry, people need to understand that this paper currency that is being printed has been done by three other national banks before the Federal Reserve Absolutely, started doing this. Absolutely, Charles. That's right. And they've collapsed. That's right. And this one has gone farther than anybody else yep. because they've done the same thing that this, Fe this Federal Reserve Bank is doing now. Yes. People need to understand this is not, the Federal Reserve Bank is not the federal government. No. It's just, it's humorous almost the way they've made the oh, name make boy. people think that they, they're the federal government. They are not. They're a banking institute. Yes. People need to do it. Just a Google search on national banks in America. Uh, they'll find out that all of them collapsed, except for the one that we're operating now, or that is operating now, the Federal Reserve Bank, which looks like it could be not too long before it collapses, because you can only print so much of this before, after a while, it's worth nothing. And then if it's worth nothing after a while, then it's going to go to zero, and they'll well, start all over here, again or revalue here's it. Here's a big reprint. problem with that, Charles. The banking system that we know of today has been around just clearly 100 years. So just about everybody alive only knows that as a normal. See, that's They that's don't even the understand. Exactly. Yes. And the bigger problem is we as the people don't even understand our own constitution. And then we have, I would say, a good 30%, if not, probably about 30% easy, of people that live in this country right now are absolute antichrist, Marxist, socialist, God-hating people. I mean, heck, you go to the convention on one side of the political spectrum and they bark like dogs when they mention the word God. That's a demon. So obviously we're, we can't have a conversation. Mm -hmm. This is about God and, and truth. Mm -hmm. And if we knew our history, we actually are a pretty awesome country. No but doubt. But we've been kind of luciferianly taken over. And what you're saying about the banking system, they're doing it. So I want to just me, show them real quick. Do that if and let me show this. Don't care, that, let's go let to that me, bank. Let me suggest a book for people to read. I normally That's don't a heavy care. read. I, I know, I know it where is. you're I, going. I normally don't do this. Yeah. Dr. Ben Carson. Oh, no, that's not what I'm thinking. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. He wrote a book called um, Something with the Constitution, A More Perfect Union. Uh, I'm about three-fourths of the way through it. He explains what the Constitution is amazingly, and then the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, in there as well. Most people don't have a clue what the Constitution is. And you know, don't have a clue. I told my I'm wife, Kelly, the other day, I said he actually needs to do a television program to explain what the Constitution is. He needs to have, I'd like to contact him and tell him once he gets out of this political thing that he's running with right now. And he needs to sit down, get it in a get in an atmosphere where he can actually explain it to people or someone like him, <laughs> because people the people in America that are living because of the people that lost their life for the Constitution don't know what the Constitution says. I know. And what did I say? Which it's terrible to say this, but I really feel it in my heart. Is I don't think that people care to learn the Constitution. And but but maybe not. And also some fairness, people don't. I some agree. People do. In all fairness to Dr. Carson, too, you're exactly right. That man is absolutely the epitome of a quintessential American dream. The man lived in Detroit, but was in the slums of Detroit. I don't think he had a father around. He had very poor, no food. He had a wonderful mom taught him, taught him how to read books. And here's a man that most people in our culture would say is going to be a loser, you're going to jail, you're never going to be anything. And what does he become? The head of neurosurgery of John Hopkins University lives in a phenomenal mansion 
is now running for office, which, you know, good for him, he's probably not going to because it would have corrupt his good heart. But he is an amazing individual. Now, if Dr. Ben Carson can rise from his humble beginning and be what he is, every single human and we, the people of the United States of America, can do the same thing. All the other excuses that are done political are these Marxist hack agendas is to divide and it's Lucifer. So understand, this is the truth. Our world and our country is true. But we're going to get into the data now. I want to show you what the bankings are doing, the banking system's doing. They're trying to take us down. And when we, if we do too hard, we're slaves to the system. And I, as we say in the spiritual, a lot of us believe they're trying to take us back to Egypt. So before we get into these graphs, just know that you understand the truth. The truth sets you free and know that education is the best place to do that. And if anything, here's a good place to get started. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. I'm saying good boy because he's from Detroit. <laughs> no, but I, I just, I, I used to love the Tigers when I was a kid, so what can I say? <laughs> but, uh, you know, let's go into the ISM data because this is about what you're going to see here is when they see the word QE1. They call it the quantitative easing. They like to use words they don't think people will understand because it'll be so kind of confusing that we'll just forget about it, go about our day. QE, quantitative easing, was AKA money printing. That's all that is. Printing money out of thin air on a printing press, okay? So I'm gonna go show you this data here. Now this is known as the manufacturing index. Now the manufacturing index, fine. As you notice, we collapsed in 2008. That's the one on the left, the big shaded area. That's when our economy class manufacturing collapsed, and of course, they started printing money. Mm -hmm. That's when we really put out those big numbers, hundreds and hundreds of billions. Remember, oh, they did yeah, all the yeah. stimulus. Now, the, the point of that was, was for people, money to be put in the banking system yes. so that it could be loaned to people easily. It was supposed to be. So people would use it yes. and make the system run again. Yes. Because the only way a debt-based system works is for people to keep the money moving. Yes. I buy something from you, you pay me for a service. Yeah. We've got to keep it going back and forth or yes. else the system collapses. And this is what was interesting. All the times in the past when we used to print money, that's exactly what we would do. People would go out, they would spend, and our economy generated again. Mm -hmm. It worked. This time, they printed all these trillions and only the bankers profited. Well, the, the, you couldn't get money. Uh, right. I'm, That's I'm, what I'm, saying. I'm in, uh, in the real estate business. Mm -hmm. We buy and sell and, and You couldn't property. get a loan, could you? I bet. You, the, yeah. the money tightened up yes. instead of loosening up. That's right. And we have a credit score that's near 800. Yep. So it didn't make any difference nope. what kind of ability you had to borrow it or pay it back. Right. It, instead of, it was done just the opposite. Yeah. So apparently the banks got fat. Absolutely. Now what they did is they printed and diluted. So the QE1 failed. Then what happened? QE2 was called twist. Then QE3 came in 2012. Just so everyone knows clear, when the prices started collapsing down from gold and silver, it was because they were entering into another QE phase and it had to do with Japan and they had to manipulate the prices because we were actually going out of control. But then, what happens? They hike the interest rates, right? And look where we're at. We're down at the manufacturing index below the break point, and yet they hike the interest rates. Everything is false. And why were they doing this? I believe, number one, it was a distraction, but two, you know what we were doing with that money? Get ready. This is going to be a curveball right here. We were running around the world destroying it. And I'm, not, I'm being serious. This is petrodollar now. On the left are the nations before and on the right after. On the, on the top left, Iraq before we bombed it. On the right side, after we bombed it. In the middle, that is Libya before we bombed it. 
on the right after, and then you have Yemen, and then you have Syria. Those countries were beautiful before we got involved. Now, you can take that off. What's important to understand with that, Charles, that's because we're in this petrodollar fight. We're stirring up that Middle East because we're battling Russia because Russia, China, and Iran are trying to take down the dollar's dominance. And if we lose the petrodollar, and it's not about money and oil. It's about every country needed a dollar to buy the oil. That's what the petrodollar That's what the petrodollar real definition is. It happened in the 70s. We came off the gold standard. Now, we got to wrap up for this time, but we'll finish up later with the rest of the data. But just know, that's what we were doing, printing money and going and doing that and talk about distractions. So understand, this has been real. This is very real, and the financial apocalypse is coming, meaning the unveiling will be there, and the truth is, you don't want to see that in your backyard. So let's get ready. Let's get educated. God bless you. Make sure you tell somebody about the broadcast. We're on at the same time on this station every week. We'd like for you to tell somebody about our website as well. You can watch these programs on demand at cornerstoneassetmetals.com. Make sure you join us next week, same place and same time. We'll see you then for more of the wealth transfer. Cornerstone Asset Metals has focused on using gold and silver reserves to protect your assets from volatile currencies. Another hard asset that is just as important for your sustainability is food. We believe that preparation is a key to being successful in an unstable economic environment, so we started CAM Ready Food just for you. The Bible tells us that Joseph used the resources of Egypt to prepare for a global famine by storing up food in a time of plenty. His preparation not only preserved the lives of his family, but many others as well. At Cornerstone, we believe the time is now to re-examine this biblical lesson so that you and your family can be prepared for any disaster, job loss, food shortage, or economic instability. You can start preparing today by visiting our website, camreadyfood.com, because food truly is the ultimate currency. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. 